Hello, Richard student. How are you all doing? Welcome to another wonderful class. It is Monday, the 18th, January 2021. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to our English class. Before we move to the next slide to see what the topic is, we are going to look at our Oscar Paul value, which is loyalty. I would say loyalty is staying true to a friend, even if the friend is not there. Okay, it's time to start staying loyal to your friends. Objectives for today's lesson. So these are the objectives. We're saying at the end of the lesson, students are expected to use the correct preposition in a sentence and then construct sentences using the preposition. So you should be able to know when to use the prepositions. Don't use on for in. And don't use a for under or behind or in front. So you need to pay attention to this lesson so you'll be able to know what should come and when it should. So let's quickly go to the next slide. This is all about the keywords. These are the keywords we'll be using in our lesson today. Here we'll have on, behind, next to, in, under, between. Okay, so now look at the dog. It is right to say the dog is on the bench or on the table, but it's not right to say the dog is behind the table. So you need to look at the pictures very well and then so you'll be able to know when and where to fix in the preposition. So the dog is behind, is behind the tree. So look at us. This is the cat is next to the dog. Okay? Then here we have in. What is inside the box? The dog is in the box. Under. Going under something. Okay? Which is they have to they, the dogs are under the bed. Then between. The ball is between the legs of the dog. Here we have our class begins. Lesson proper. Okay, so pay attention so you understand very well. We are going to look at the meaning of preposition. What is it all about? Okay, preposition is all about in, on, you know, telling you where something is, or all that. Here, let's look at the definition we'll give to it. We we'll say preposition can tell us where something is. Yes, like this picture, this preposition is telling us that the dog is in. The box. So they say it tells us where something, where something is. What is that something? The dog. Where is the dog? In the box. So the preposition there is the in. So the dog is in the box. And look at this one. It says it tells us where something is. What is that? We are looking for the dog. We can't find our dog. Where is the dog? Then you come there, you know, and you just Oh, mom, I can see the dogs under, under the bed, okay? So, this preposition is telling us that these dogs are under the bed. I hope it's clear. So, we'll still go down for a little explanation about the preposition. Here, we say, the lighthouse was in Egypt. It was on an island. So, where is the preposition here? The preposition here is in, in and on. So the lighthouse was where? Where is the lighthouse? You remember when we did about the lighthouse? The famous towers we have in the world. We talked about the lighthouse. Then we say it was where? In, inside. It's in Egypt. If you go to Egypt, you will see the White House in Egypt. Okay? So even if you come to Egypt, now I am in Egypt. Where can I locate the White House? On an island. If you go to that island, you will see the White House there. Okay? So we quickly move to now. It's still the same explanation, the same definition, but a little bit elaborate, like a little bit expanded. Here, preposition are words or groups of words that show the relationship. It shows the relationship between a noun or pronoun and another word in the sentence. Here, many prepositions tell where 
where something is located. Like I said, where is the White House located? It is located on an island. Where is the island? In Egypt. Okay? So here, like, the book is next. Sorry. The book is in my backpack. Okay? The book is in my backpack. Look at the back pack here. So if you're looking for the book, you open the bag, then you will see the book inside. It. They walk across the park. So where are they walking? They are walking across. So you see that's what we say. It talks about a relationship between a noun or a pronoun. Okay? In the sentences. So here the in and the across is telling us about all about preposition. I hope you are able to understand this little explanation I gave. Now we move to the next slide. Here, we are going to listen because this is all about listening. We are going to listen to know about the countries and their cities, okay? Number two, the cat, we are going to 
to write a sentence now. So you write the cat is behind, okay? Behind the chair. Full stop. Okay? So I want you to do this too for me and then wrap this one up. Okay? With that very good work, we've come to the end of our class today. We quickly want to say thank you for listening. Keep safe and see you in our next class. Bye.